Oh. 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 Hello everyone! I am Sen from Sound Effects Necessary. That's here. I'm, I'm from where I'm from. Sen stands for Sound Effects Necessary. Get it? Alright. Anyways, uh, please subscribe. Hope you've all been well. I had surgery. That's why videos were a little bit out, but I'm good to go now. So as a, as a good job, Sen, you can say uh, that you subscribed. Anyways, this is the case of the Golden Idol. I know nothing about this game. It's um, a mystery game, I think, uh, or a puzzle-solving sleuthing game. Um, it kind of gives me the vibes of um, uh, Return of the Oprah Din, but that's all I know. And also, that's my cat running on the treadmill right as I start recording. Um, with highlights, select this if you don't like pixel hunting. Select this if you don't mind finding all clickable spots in your own. Um, I'll go with highlights. I don't mind it. But it will take a while for videos. An in abrupt termination of contract. Ooh. Oh. I see. We're starting off with someone being killed already. What is this? Two bags filled with coins and gems. A tobacco pouch and a pipe cleaner. Okay. Golden statue with a red stone and a bag filled with coins and gems. Is that the golden idol? And a bag of medical instruments and some medicine. What What is with the golden line? Exploring. Okay, so I'm in the exploring phase. Uh, okay, so this does show me where to click. I knew what you were plotting, you snake! Both parties agreed to terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Monkey Paw Island. Um, Albert Cloudsley has rights to two-thirds of all the valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one-third of all valuables and any gold statues found for providing the map to the expedition's site. Oberon, Geller, Albert, Cloudsy, Oberon, Geller, Albert, Cloudsy. Okay, so did I miss something that I should have clicked on before over here? Um, okay, this game is very quiet as well. Like, it's only at, like, negative 45 to negative 40 decibels. Whereas usually, for those who don't know audio, I want my sound to be floating around negative 6. Zero is when it's peaking and it's too high. So it's very quiet right now. A pipe. A dagger. Okay. Is there... I don't want to press escape and... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's all at max volume. Yeah, hey. Hey. Um, ah! <laughs> Me too. Parties agreed to the terms. Albert Cloudsy, Oprah Geller, Oprah and Geller, Albert Cloudsy. Wait, Doctor S. Oh, Doctor Oprah and Geller, Esquire Albert. Okay, okay. Horn of finger cat. Why are you crazy right now? It's okay. She's crazy. She's she's like that. Maybe she'll make an appearance. She was all over my desk earlier. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay, ruins of Xenopolis, Bay of Shadows, cat playing with box. I spent $150 on a treadmill, and she's playing with a cardboard box. Well, she plays with the treadmill, too. A scalpel, so he's the doctor. Albert Clousey is right to the game. Okay, we already saw that. And a medicine bottle. So, wait, hold on. Um, medicine bottle, which means this is Oberon Geller, who's being murdered. He looks so happy to be here. All right, is there anything else that I'm missing on Sparklies? I guess not. Time to think. So, um... Oh, pushed... Oberon Geller, Albert Cloudsy, off a cliff in the blank blank of, in the blank of blank on Monkey Paw Island. Um, uh, that was Oberon Geller. Okay, I can see how this is like a, a puzzle mystery solving. Albert Cloudsy. Huh. When a scroll is completely filled in, Words can be dragged directly from the slots. Okay. John Doe. Camp in but I need to do more exploring, apparently. Tobacco, tobacco. No, I need the map. No. Map. Bay of Shadows. One thumb, one finger. Okay, so that looks like Horn of Thumb. And we are at the... Let's see. Right, we'll, we'll do some more thinking. Cliff in the um, Horn of Thumb or the Ruins of Xenopolis. Uh, Horn of Finger, right? Because we can see it from there. No, wait. 
We'll say the... We'll say Horn of Finger. Right. Okay, no. The... Horn of Thumb. Oh, so they weren't on the main island. That was the main island in the background. Scroll has been fulfilled. No hints access. While Dr. Oberyn Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsy, Cloudsley Esquire, suddenly pushed him off the cliff. But he had the stuff with him, so why are you pushing him off the cliff if you want the treasure all for yourself? Alright. How interesting. Chapter 1. Complications in the family. Look at these faces. <laughs> it's so goofy. Alright, alright, we've got a murder on our hands, which we already solved. Complication to family, the untimely passing of a rural gentleman. Oh dear, we have another murder. These are a lot of complications in the family. The... <gasps> there he is, a statue of a golden idol. A yacht is slowly floating in the river. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. What clue? The exploring and thinking is sort of... Oh, there we go. He was a cartographer. Spontaneous combustion, because he had the sextant and compass. Spontaneous combustion. I, Sebastian Cloudsley, will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. So this is the guy getting his comeuppance after he stole from the doctor years and years ago, because this is an older man we see here. Uh, August 1786. Oh, beautiful day. Washington dressed in my dining attire. That's it there. Changed to my hunting attire. Just kidding. Changed to my researching attire. Just stop getting dressed. Changed to my dining attire. Okay. Had a tasty beef loin for supper. Filled my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. So he's in his dining attire. He didn't change out of it. Road to hunt badgers. Had no luck. Um, returned home. So he did some researching for an hour, he dined, supped, he, he changed for an hour, and then had sup for an hour, two and a half hours. Um, beautiful roast duck for lunch. Woke up. You woke up at noon? Oh my god, what a rocker. Okay. Um, August music, August 23rd. Does that share the similarities to August 22nd? Okay. So this is, today is August 23rd, so who changed the, maybe he did when he went to bed, changed the calendar. Woodshire, Crow Tower, Blackfield. And there's a yacht out on the river. So this is Blackfield. I don't need Crow, Woodshire, and Crow Tower. So I won't click them to confuse myself later. This clue's been added to the thinking panel. Hello, you're something, Sebastian Clouds, Esquire, Sebastian Clouds. Remember everyone, stay hydrated. Good, good. It says, stay hydrated. Um, and also, has lovely art my sister drew. I'll, I'll show that forever and ever. Every time I see someone wearing this shirt, I love it. Because my whole family got shirts. Um, lead poison. So this is the anatomy that he was researching um, on chemistry, anatomy and chemistry. Putting it together, lead poisoning. I'm assuming because he just did the research and put it away according to his diary. A tall, rickety ladder. What is this? Is this a coat? Did he fall, bang his head, and die? Yeah, I don't see No, wait. There's footprints leading the way, or like there's a blood trail leading that way. Is there any blood on the statue? No, someone left the statue. How interesting. So, Sebastian Cloudsley, Lord of Blackfield, Passed away in his bed. The cause of death was a, um, fell from a ladder while he was research, no, researching. But that's not true. We see the blood leading away. Um, cause of death was a blank blank. Oh, we didn't click on him. A ring? Man is not breathing, his head is badly wounded. Okay. Cause of death is a head wound. That's not true though. He I refuse to believe that he fell from the ladder. Eleven of sixteen. Wait, eleven of sixteen? 
Oh, because I forgot. I didn't click on... Wait. Head. So yeah, it's not a head wound. So he has his dining attire. His hunting attire? No, that's his researching attire. This is his hunting attire. Research. So he didn't get to fill out his next day's stuff. He was going to go hunting. This is Sebastian Cloudsy. My phone going off. Shush, 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 shush. I'm recording. Oh, this is this is interesting already. So I'm I'm missing five, but that was that was on purpose because I did not want Woodshire Crow, Crow Tower. But what else is there? What else could there be? A horse! A horse is running in the yard. Oh. He was hunt. No, he didn't fall from the ladder. He fell from a horse. Cause of a head wound. And then he walked himself to his bed where he died. Well, he was. Well, he was. He was. Where is it? Hunting. Hunting, hunting. <gasps> oh, how clever. We thought he fell, but he didn't. Gulp didn't fulfill, no hints to access. But the Lord of Blackfield was hunting his horse. Um, okay, I am recording. His horse threw him off and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. Well, serves you right, murderer. All right. Hel hello? <laughs> age of 53. Pretty pretty old age for 1700s. Oh, uh, look at how sad they are. He's definitely sad. He's like, oh, uh, they're sad. Okay. So why do you look like that? I'm timely like passing a lower brew or a gentleman. An abrupt termination of the contract. A dramatic departure of an outsider. Interesting. Well, now. I think we have some some things going on here. Spare me, devil! I was simply following orders. Astonishing monkey man, property of Pear Brothers. A knife. Okay. Burning man. A scorched horse brush. A scorched knife. You're you're very dying. What the blazes? A man. That's what's blazing. Um, August Vaki, Cub Derby. Race win, place show, rage, wager. Race three, win, raging sultan, place, blah, 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 35 pounds. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna give us more info later. That'll be important. Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. What? Spontaneous combustion. To perform the combustion trick, you must first cast a freezing spell. The sacred glyph for combustion on the idol? What? What? A ring with a ruby. Is this the son of Sebastian Cloudsley? Esquire? One pound, two shillings, and two pence. Pound, two shillings, two pence. How much was the wager for? I don't know. I don't know if that. I don't know if that equals that much. If he won the bet or something. Ash Blair, finest tobacco. Prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We have to visit my nephew. Uh, something cloudsly. Two shillings and a penny. Why? Are, oh, I don't know how much shillings and pennies are. A saddlebag. A dagger. Okay, um, so he cast a spell on him, and this is blue now. I don't get it. Hmm, interesting. Stable for Rhoda. Stable Rhoda for Adam and James. Horse grooming, stable cleaning, Monday. J J J A A A A A A J J J. Do it properly, you lazy oafs. 
What an unexpected turn of events. There's someone on fire. People are like, oh, good heavens, how interesting. Embroidered handkerchief. Three pounds and three shillings. Who who won? Who won the, the bet? Dear Edmund, it has reached my attention that you are seeking a capable new servant. I just gave the man for you. David, I have just the man for you. David Gorin is an experienced coachman with a diverse set of talents that I am sure you will find very useful. If you are displeased with his services, do not hesitate to let me know. Yours, Theo. A stiletto blade. Why does everyone carry its a weapon? I guess people still do today. But like, there are, what? London consider Lord Edmund Cloudsley's speech stirs Parliament. Okay. So Edmund Cloudsley set someone on fire. This is the horse guy, maybe? What does he say? Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. One pound, two shillings, and two pence. Spare me to have all simply following orders, but what the blazes. 35 pounds. So he gambled on the horse race. L let's keep getting info here. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Look at this. That's something I would draw. Like a little goober. Like, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, there's so much more. Oh my goodness. Hi. Okay. Um. Sure. Fat Lord. Pair twins. A and J. Can I not... Click on that. A and J. So oh, is this A and J? Batley? Clouds. Thank you. This is Batley's home. Okay. My apologies. He could be so bad here. But but here sometimes? Shamal Bat. Oh, interesting. Six rings with various stones. A fan. Four pounds. Where's the 32 pounds? An ornamented guitar blade. You have that on your person? To... Uh, yeah, guitar. Good lord. Nicholas Maker, attorney. This is Nicholas Maker. I would not have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I am appalled. Ring with a ruby. Two shillings, three pence. Oh god. Oh, I meant Cloudsley. Rose Cubert. Sebastian Clouty. Sebastian Clouty. Okay. Oldest. Married. Tested. Married. Peter Batley. Billiard Wright. Oh, there's so many names. Four inheritors all present. Good to know. So that's Rose there. And... Edmund Cloudsley is over here. Oh, but we have multiple Cloudsleys now. But he's not present. Sebastian Cloudsley is not present. So that is Edmund Cloudsley. Okay. Aphorisms by Sebastian Cloudsley. How to be happy? Eat a hearty meal every day and do not waste your time on trivialities. How to avoid being upset. Strive for what holds me for that which holds meaning. Do not shrink from responsibility. How to be inspired. Take a walk in your forest and breathe the fresh air. How to avoid being scared. Feeling scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. How to shrink from responsibility. Wow, okay. Oh god. Lord Wright, Rose Cubert, okay. This clue's been added to the thinking panel. I bequeath you the gold statue, idol of Sinopolis. You will know what to do with it. I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath, um, I bequeath, I bequeath, uh, do you have the notes from the you leave to finish and publish it under both our names? Late sister, your mother, financial troubles to me long help you, long discovered you, and or mother long disclosed you financial troubles to me long ago, and I resolved to help you. I bequeath to you uh, 
complication of my aphorisms to provide the direction in your life which you so clearly lack. So I gave to him the book. He was on. So someone was given a book as a. After um, Sebastian Cloudsley died. One of the Cloudsleys. They were upset by it. Took the golden idol. And, try, and set someone on fire. I'm assuming... We'll figure out in just a moment. I'm, I'm coming up with something. I, Sebastian Cloudsley, Blackfield Country, being in bodily health and of sound and disposing mind and memory, nominate the appointed Nicholas Maker as executor of my last will and testament. So that's Nicholas Maker. Dear Brother Edmund. Dear Peter Batley, we have sent you frequent reminders concerning the settlement of your debt, and yet to date, the debt remains unpaid. We humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible, or we will be forced to take the matter into our own hands. Debt currently stands at 255 pounds. Blackguard and buckloads. Derby, 50 pounds. Spinning Jenny. So someone, August Focky, Cup Derby. Club Derby. And Spinning Jenny. So, okay, is there anything that hasn't been looked? Because they turned red when I've seen everything. Okay, now that's red. That's red. There's still something here, right? Pear. Okay, I already have pear. And then this. What else is there? This. We met so rarely after you left for the colonies. Therefore, I bequeath to you my savings, land, and the Blackfield Man's house. Uh, come home and establish a museum of my life and accomplishments. Is that for her? I don't know what that's for. All right, we have all the pieces. Oh my god. Um, my camera's in the way here. There are many empty slots. So like right right here is where my camera is kind of covering my screen a little bit. Um, we so rarely met after you left for colonies. If I bequeathed you my savings, land, at the Blackfield Manor House, come. I'm going to establish a museum of my life and accomplishments. I don't know who that is. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, Edmund. Uh, Cloudsley. Then we had Rose. Uh, Hubert. Okay. And Sebastian Cloudsley is not here. Um. Oh, I don't know who any of these people are. I'm guessing this is the guy who owns a home. He doesn't look like he's dressed for traveling. That's my guess. Um, so that would be Batley, which is Peter Batley, right? Billiard, right? So Peter Batley? It's hard to tell, uh, what have we got here? Batley, Batley, where's Batley? Blind, am I blind, am I missing, am I missing, am I Batley? I think. Um, now who the hell is this? Ash Blair, finest tobacco. Is it my nephew? Okay. So he's with him. Nicholas Maker, attorney. Okay. Uh, Nicholas Maker. Which. Okay. Sebastian Cloudsley is not present, though. Or maybe he wasn't supposed to be present and he showed up at the last minute. Sebastian. No, this is Sebastian Clouds. Um, this is Adam. Frey. Take a peek here. Pear twins. Adam Pear. Adam Pear. Pear. 
repair. Because he looks like he's doing a stable work thing. Um, maybe that's James Pear. Oh, but there's still so many. And David uh, Gorin. Right, oops. Uh, David Gorin. The identities are not filled in correctly. Yeah, I know, I know. Williard Wright is the associate, right? It was a... Willard Wright associate, okay. So I believe that's Willard Wright. So this might not be Peter... I think that is Peter Batley. Oh god. So I'm, I'm confident about Rose, Nicholas, and Peter, and Willard. Following orders. So I was following orders. Um, fat Lord. He's got a hat and a little wahoo. A hat and a little wahoo. A hat and a little wahoo. That's the Lord. So that is. Okay, okay. That is Peter. Batley. Perhaps this is David Gorin? What's the other house? Hubert. Hubert. I don't have a Cubert on here, do I? Rose Cubert. Okay, so she's already here. Rose Cubert's good to go. I need to re examine what this guy has on him. It's a horse brush and a knife. And you also have. Yeah, so you're not, you're you're the other pair. So that is James and Adam pair. I'll have to switch that around here or there. Peter Batley and then Willard Wright. Who are you, though? Or maybe... Okay, I need to re-examine what this guy has on him. Embroidered handkerchief. E-C, I think that is? Edmund? No, Edmund is here. Or maybe you are Edmund. Edmund... Cloudsley. Which makes you the other Cloudsley. You are Sebastian Cloudsley. Okay, Edmund Cloudsley, I know now. Nicholas Maker, Rose Kubert, Peter Batley. And then the twins here, so then I need to figure out these two. Oh! Two or few slots are incorrect. No. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So then who? And what? And why? Two or fewer slots are incorrect. So I have one person who's wrong. So that is Adam, that is James. Peter Batley. Oh, but who, but who? Are you David Gorin? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I know the people now. Put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. My late sister, your mother. Disclose your financial struggle to me longer, I believe with you. So, Willard Wright was given this. And he was unhappy with this, so he took the things and left. Quit to you the golden idol of Xenopolis, you will know what to do with it. Um, Peter Batley was originally given, but he. But Willard 
didn't like that, so he took it. Um, Quite you notes my research I've really taken on astronomy. Who has astronomy? Published it under both our names. We rarely maybe I come home and establish a museum of my life and accomplishments. Okay, okay. London Gazetteer. Start Edmund Cloudsley's speech stirs Parliament. So Edmund Cloudsley. And then this last one would be Rose Cubert. No. So you two. There we go. Okay, so he did get the golden idol, and he's like, okay, I have this now. Die! Okay. Was to receive blank in blank's will. In, uh, Sebastian, uh, Cloudsley's will. And ordered blank and blank to take blank from blank. Suddenly died from spontaneous combustion and James hair. Was blank to receive was ordered blank blank and blank. blank. Okay, so Peter Batley was happy to receive um, house in Sebastian Clouds' as well and ordered Adam Pear and James Pear to take the idol from Williard Wright was upset to receive the idol. Um, Williard Wright. No. Was, ups, was happy to receive the idol. So these two are wrong. To receive research. Was upset. Was inspired. Was scared to receive the house. Oh. No. Receive the research. Receive the A for the scholars. So Peter Batley was blank to receive blank in Sebastian Clouds as well. I can look at this up. Why am I guessing? Critium the compliment compilation of my aphorisms to provide their direction that it so clearly lack was upset to receive aphorisms and he wanted more. Okay. The scroll has been filled, fulfilled. I don't know why I just started guessing there at the end. I had the info. No hints access. Yes, I know, I know, I'm pretty great. Um, Peter Batley, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament. Upon discovering that he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms, he tore up the will, I think I pronounced that right, and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from the stranger Willard. Suddenly, Stay hydrated, everyone. One of the servants burst into flames. Okay. And that's it for this chapter. Let's take a peek at the next chapter, see what we got in the next one. Got people around. Oh, they look like they're gambling. Another death. Oh, is that of Rose Cubert? And then, a man in a mask. How interesting. I like this game. This is, this is fun. Um, I hope that you're enjoying playing along with me. If you've played this game before, please play along. If you haven't, play along. Or if you haven't and you'd like to experience this yourself, put my videos on hold, play the game first, and then come back and watch, preferably. Please do watch them. But, um, yeah, I, I wish mystery games were more than a one-off thing because they're always so fascinating. And it's like, well, it's done. I can't experience this again. But that was, that's really cool. I'm going to definitely play more of this. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay sharp with your minds, everyone, and please subscribe. It helps me out more than you know. Subscribers, I need those counts to go up, and then everything will go from there. But um, please enjoy, have a great rest of your day, stay hydrated, and stay sleuthing, everyone. Goodbye.